Hello, boys and girls. It's Mr. Trey from Stafford and Frigo on 104.9 The Fox. I am so glad I get to read to you today. <laughs> this is going to be fun. We're going to read my favorite train book, The Little Engine That Could. Do you ever think you can't really do something? You think maybe you're not big enough to do something? This book will change you forever. It's a great book. It's the little engine that could. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look, there's the train. Chug, 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 puff, 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 ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls and, see, there's even giraffes on this, this train. Dolls with, 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 with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. Look at the clown. <laughs> and there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops. Do you know what a top is? Have you ever seen a top? Jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls could want. Look at all that stuff. But that was not all. Some of the train cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast. Look at that. Fresh spinach for their dinners. Do you like spinach? Peppermint drops and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. She wouldn't go anymore. She couldn't get up the mountain. What were all those good little girls and boys on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? What are they going to do? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let's ask the shiny new engine to help us. So all the dolls and toys cried out together. There's the shiny new train coming. Big old shiny new train. Please, shiny new train, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and the girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, you shiny, good-looking new engine. <laughs> but the shiny new engine shouted, I pull you I'm a passenger engine. I've just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cards with comfortable beds, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you Indeed not. He was a he was a mean train. He wouldn't help the little train engine out. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? He steamed to the roundhouse where engines live when they are not busy. 
how sad the little train and all the dolls and toys were. Then the little clown called out, the passenger engine, the passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here's another big engine coming, a great big strong one. Let's ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. Please, please, oh big engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or any good feed to eat unless you help us. But the big strong engine, engine bellowed. I'm a freight engine. I've just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I'm a very important engine. I won't pull the likes of you. And the freight engine puffed off. Puffed off. The little train and the dolls and the toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine isn't the only engine in the world. Here comes another one. He looks very old and tired. But our train is so little bitty, maybe he can help us. So the little clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please, kind old engine. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. Oh, I am so tired. I must rest. I can't even pull so little a train as yours over that mountain. I cannot. I cannot, I cannot. He was so old, he's an old engine. And he rumbled off, I cannot, I cannot. Then indeed the little train was very, very, very sad. And the dolls and the toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here's another engine coming. It's a little blue engine. It's like a Thomas engine, a very little one. Maybe she'll help us. Here came this very little bitty engine chugging along. When she saw the toy clown's flag, she stopped. What's the matter? She said. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and the toys. Will you please pull us over the mountain? Please. Our engine broke down. And the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or any food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us, little blue engine. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me just for switching trains in the yard. I've never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain, said the dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of those good little boys and girls that wouldn't have any toys or good food to eat. She said, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little broke down train. She tugged and tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged and slowly the wheels started to turn. The toy clown jumped on board and all the dolls and the toy animals started to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, said the little blue engine. I think I can, 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 I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster and faster the little blue toy train until they reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray! Hooray! cried the funny little clown. And the dolls and the toys, the little good boys and girls of the city will be so happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, 
I thought I could. 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 The end. That little blue engine, she thought she was too little to pull that train over that mountain. But she did it. She did it. She kept telling herself, I think I can. I think I can. That's the story of the little engine that could.